Hi guys, it's Misty from The Book Rat, and though this kind of fell off of my radar, and I'm sure your radar a little bit, I've decided it's time to have another 30-day book binge. So this is something I've been doing for a few years now, and in theory, it happens every three months, quarterly. So January, April, July, and October. But in September of last year, I broke my computer, and it kind of caused me to just, like, act like the internet didn't exist, which means that when it was time for October's 30 day book binge, I didn't really do it. <laughs> I didn't do it, I didn't promote it, I didn't talk about it, it just kind of died. And then I intended to pick back up in January like nothing had ever happened, and then I forgot. Even though there's only 28 days in February, we're gonna have a 30 day book binge. So you can just do 28 days and do it for the month, you can do a couple days before or after, however you want to do it, if you want to do it. I think I need to get back on the wagon of daily reading because I have fallen off just a little bit. Just a little bit. I've missed a few days, but out of a two year streak that's a little disappointing. And I know a lot of you always have the goal of reading more for the new year. You set a resolution and this could potentially help you. So if you're unfamiliar, I'll leave links about the whole deal below, but basically the goal is just to read every day. What you read, how much you read, in what format you read it, totally up to you. It's very low pressure. It's just about building a habit. To go along with that, to kind of encourage you, I will be sharing some printables for you to download and use if you choose to, and I also encourage you to chat on social media with the hashtag 30 day book binge so that you can get encouragement or give encouragement to others, but all you really have to do is just read consistently. Read something every day for 30 days. Having done this for a few years now, I will say that it is really amazing how something so simple can really transform your reading habit and your feeling about reading and about books if you're in a rut, which I was and am again, <laughs> and consistently have been for years now, just on and off. Um, just knowing that I have to read something and that it can be anything and that I'm allowed to change my mind and just read bits and pieces of things so long as I keep reading has really helped me power through ruts because otherwise what would happen is I'd be like, I'm not feeling this book, I'm really not feeling like reading, and then weeks would go by and I'd be like, oh, I should pick something up. Whereas this way, you're powering through bit by bit and maybe you're getting to a point where you're deciding this book isn't for me and I can DNF it, or you're getting back into that habit because maybe it was just the ease of not having to focus on something, and use your brain, dedicate time, whatever it may be, and once you realize that 10 or 15 minutes here and there really isn't that much of a time commitment, it starts to kind of change how you feel and how you approach the habit, and for me personally anyway, and I know for some of you as well, it starts to make you more enthusiastic, and it starts to feel like this attainable goal and then after a while it just starts to feel like a way of life. So I encourage you to join me in reading every single day for 30 days if you're able, and um, if you're not this time around to consider it for the next time, but I will say even if you think you're not, you are able. You can do it. It's really easier than you think it's going to be. This is just a heads up to let you know what's going on. 30 day book binge, which is kind of actually 28 days, is coming in February and I hope to have you guys join me. But that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching, and of course, happy reading! Hopefully daily reading.